Hello everyone, this is a very quick video on how to embed a video on your EduBlog site. The first thing you want to do is to sign in with your username and your password. And after hitting uh, login, you will see the confirmation that you are logged in and it will also give you the option to go to your dashboard. And your dashboard is another name for all your backstage controls that allow you to add, subtract, edit, you know, everything that you need to do with your website. The controls the dashboard actually has as its opening page by default add new post. So you go ahead and fill in a title for that post and after you have filled in the title go ahead and type something in. I'm going to be in visual format that means it looks like a Microsoft Word interface that will allow you to type in your text and to format it with all the different formatting tools that you're familiar with. Bold facing, italics, bullet list, list, underlining, quote marks, font color, font type, font size, etc, etc. And uh, this means that with this visual interface also called a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. You don't need to know HTML in order to produce formatted or designed pages. Now after I've gotten this introductory text typed in, it's very important to take the next step, which is to click on the HTML tag or tab. Click on HTML and now you see all the controls at the top change and it's ready to accept HTML code. So let's go to the YouTube site where the video is that I want to embed and we click on embed and that opens up the embed code and now the embed options. Well these options here the important one is to not have a tick mark and include related videos with students because you never know what's going to show up with related videos. So to be safe to be sure that is not checked now go to your embed code box and simply copy and paste that code. Go back to your uh, blog post, make sure you're still in HTML view and simply copy and paste that code in there. Let's go back to visual and check our spacing. Good. We do have a hard space after university and before the beginning of the video. Let's click on preview. See what it looks like on the page. This is not published yet. It's just a preview. So we can see that, okay, the video is in there just fine. Let's click on it, see if the link works. Okay, it's working fine. Okay, we can close our preview now. And then since we're satisfied, we will go ahead and click on Publish. We click on the Publish button. It is now live. Now that it's published, to view it, we can either click on View Post, which will automatically update your blog to include that post, or you can open up your blog and if it's already open then uh, you can simply refresh it and that will update it as well by clicking on refresh and so here it is our embedded video ready to go